Today I'm going to show you how to construct one of these simple fold-out books. It's approximately six by six and it folds open and then up and then over and you can use this to hold little photos for the holidays. This one was made with the mini catalog Christmas Lodge stamp set and the um, Frostwood Lodge designer paper which features these awesome plaids. I, I love good plaid and this uh, particular designer paper for the mini, the holiday mini catalog has the Frostwood um, Lodge designer paper which is just um, just fabulous for, you know, if you're a plaid lover. The other one is made from the Gently Falling. It's a two box stamp set of um, outline and bold leaves that coordinate together. And um, the Spice Cake Designer Series paper. Now this book was made um, actually a little simpler than the Christmas one. This book was made with the fold out being 10 by 10 squared 5 inches one way, 5 inches the other, um, and then cut 5 inches into the middle on one side. But the Christmas one um, needed some more depth because I used some 3D objects in there and so I'll show you what I did with that one. There is a 1 8 inch gutter in this book and so I'll show you what I did. I took a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and I pre-cut it to 10 by 10 and I'm going to score it at 5 and 5 and an eighth. I'm going to turn this and score it at five and five and an eighth. Okay, and then I'm going to cut that one side using the uh, Fiskars trimmer because it's a lot easier. I'm going to line up the cutting line. Move it over, line up the second cutting line. I'm going to take my scissors and finish the job. Now I'm cutting all the way to the second score line into that next, um, the other side. So I'm going to start by folding on all of the score lines so that you've got this 1 8 inch gutter and because you've got the gutter and it's no longer really very square this book <clears throat> will allow for more layering however it's not going to sit quite as square as the you know squared in 5 by 5 but it's not really a very big deal I mean if it bothers you that when this folds that it's not quite what you wanted you know if you don't like that extra all you need to do is to go back when you're done and cut a little less than an eighth of an inch like maybe a sixteenth of an inch um, and then that will sit but once you have it all decorated I don't even know if you've noticed but the Christmas one was done like this and with the gutter and it's not quite uh, square and how I frame this page hides it just a little bit. So anyway that is the construction. It's one thing I want to say about the Christmas one in the details is the um, the Tombow multi-purpose glue that we sell is I didn't realize it's a white dimensional glue so when you put it on it stays dimensional and I'll try to get a little closer there you can really see and using the regular dazzling diamonds glitter there you go dazzling diamonds glitter on top of it it 
looks really, really cool. And I was careful to only apply the glue onto the roof and not touch any of the stamped image that was stamped in um, early espresso, which is water-based. Um, this is a little piece of paper that is layered over it and I ripped it and then I pulled these back just a little bit and of course glittered the edge of that. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, and I'm trying to think for inside I used um, the felt um, I don't know what you call these, um, the Christmas felt specialty uh, accessories that are available again for a short time. Um, let's see, I think that's all to say about this one. This is also um, Spice Cake designer uh, ribbon I used on this book. Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's the Spice Cake. I have to correct myself. The uh, spice cake rib, spice cake fabric was used on here, so that's the other one which I'm forgetting um, at the moment. But that's our designer fabrics that coordinate with our papers can be torn, and that that's all this was. It was actually uh, cut with my super cutter, and uh, you could also tear it for a more rustic edge. Um, the leaves that were um, used to decorate this. What I did was simply cut, or I'm sorry, I took the uh, the stamp, the outline stamp, and then using sponge daubers, I'm adding color this is more mustard and then pear pizzazz to pick up the turning leaves kind of colors in it and lastly the uh, gosh what is this color I'm going to check this color for you here Cajun craze Okay, so I'll try to get it a little closer so you can see how cool that looks. Um, cut out the leaf completely. Okay, and then what I do is I actually just make the leaf look a little more dimensional so that when you add it to something, like when it's added to the page, it looks like you pull that here. It's it adds more uh, life to it. But anyway, so that's the trick to this book. I hope that was helpful. Um, good luck and happy stamping.